Welcome to the installation video for the church plant theme from mintplugins.com. My name is Jamie and I'm going to walk you through a basic setup for this theme and show you how to get everything up and running within just a few minutes. Uh, this is a great theme for new churches who need to get a website up and running fairly quickly and uh, that are in need of features such as sermons, events, uh, team member profiles and other church related features. And the great thing about this theme is that it comes stocked and loaded exactly how you see it on the demo. So this is a huge time saver because the layout's already intact, including all of the photos. And basically all you need to do is go through and add in your unique copy for your church. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you just how to do that. So the first thing we're gonna do is head on over to mintplugins.com and we're gonna log into my account. And in here, you'll see your downloads or purchases, church plant theme bundle, uh, which is the zip folder, as well as your license key. So the first thing we'll do is download the zip. And then if you scroll down just a little bit further, you'll see the church plant theme bundle uh, license key. So let's go ahead and copy that, and we'll need that in just a few minutes. And then we're gonna hop over to our WordPress dashboard. So this is your WordPress um, platform that you've already got installed on your server. And then we're gonna go to um, Appearance and Themes. Click on that. And we're gonna click on Add New. And then once again on Upload Theme. And then right here it asks to choose your file. And then we go and find the Church Plant Theme Bundle that we just downloaded. And we're gonna open that and click Install Now. Okay, once this shows up, we want to activate that theme. Okay, and this is where your, um, your license key comes in. So let's paste that in there and then click complete installation. And now it's just gonna take a few minutes to go through and get the theme all set up um, with all of its uh, plugins. And again, just the way you've seen it on the demo should just be a few minutes. Okay, and once that's done, it'll show a success page. And now you can see it's um, installing the Church Plant Theme Bundle default content. So again, this is all the photos and everything that you see on the demo. So once that's done, it'll uh, tell you that the installation was successful. And now you can view your homepage. Okay, and you'll notice that your homepage, uh, again, looks just like the demo. It comes with the photos comes everything set the exact way you saw it on the demo. So um, one thing you will notice is that when you get down to the bottom of the home page, there are no sermons. And that's just simply because you haven't added any sermons to your site yet. Just to refresh you on what that looks like, I'll hop back over to the demo. And, and down here, this is what it should look like. And jumping back over to your site, that's blank there. Now again, once you start adding in sermons, it will auto-populate and the four most up-to-date sermons will show up down at the bottom here. The other thing you'll notice is that the footer hasn't been filled out. And just a reminder, that's what it looks like on the demo. And that's what it currently looks like on your site. Now in just a few minutes, I'll show you how to, uh, with just a few clicks, get that all filled out so it looks exactly like the way you saw it on the demo. Okay, but first um, I'm going to give you a quick little overview on how to edit a brick. The bricks are simply, um, you know, layers of information that you've got on your page. So this first one here that says the journey and has the picture of the trees and the road, that's one brick. Uh, this white section down here with meeting times, meet the team, meeting location, that's another brick, and so on and so forth. So. The easiest way to uh, edit these bricks is by double clicking on the brick itself. And once you're in the brick editor, you can start changing some of the content. For example, over here on the right hand side is the uh, brick background settings. So if you wanted to change out the photo, you would just click here and upload a new photo. And once that's fully uploaded over here, you just click use item and um, if you click update right away, and there you go, you have your new uh, background image in place. Uh, let's double click on that brick again. 
and um, if you want to change, obviously you're going to want to change titles and some of the placeholder content that's in here. You simply go in and type um, whatever it is that you're wanting to change that to. Um, let's just call this a walk of faith and then update. And again, you'll see it now change on the site. Okay, so it's that simple when it comes to changing the content within each brick. I'll double click again. And within those content types, you can even change the text size, the line height, uh, the font, the font weight. And uh, there's many, many options in terms of how much you want to customize, obviously, the text color. And that's all done right here within the brick editor. Um, I, I don't recommend changing too many of the um, settings over here on the right hand side. You do have full control over that. Um, but um, we have gone ahead and, and again designed this thing the best we can. And um, we, we're trying to make it as simple as possible for you just to go in and change a lot of the basic content um, in order for you to be up and running. Okay, so there's a just a quick scenario on how you uh, update some basic text and a background image. Um, just real quickly, if you wanted to delete this brick, let's say it, it was a brick that you didn't need. Um, you could just click move to trash and that would delete it. Um, if you wanted to add a new brick, let's say you were becoming more and more familiar with the MP stacks builder um, and you wanted to create your own, you just simply click the add a brick and it'll bring up a brand new brick editor and you can get to work on the content types that you want to add and so on. And then you click publish once that's done. And then just real quickly too, if you wanted to reorder the bricks, let's say you want to change the order of how these appear, um, you'll notice a reorder brick over here. Click on that and that gives you a list of all the bricks that are on the homepage. And you can just simply drop and drag um, to whatever you want. Okay, so that's just a real quick crash course on how to edit, delete, and add new bricks. Okay, and next I want to show you um, how to get this footer looking exactly the way we have it on the demo. So just like we did with the top brick, we're going to double click on that. And it's already set up, ready for us to go. All we need to do is scroll down to the bottom to the first content type where it says widgets. And now we're going to start filling out the brick footer with available widgets. So the first one we're going to add is the custom menu. We're going to call this quick links. And then under select menu, we're going to select the available menu and click save. The next available widget we want is just a basic text. We'll bring this up here and drag it in. We're going to call this quick info. And I happen to already have that information copied from the demo site. So you put in there, obviously you're going to, whatever your meeting times are, you can put them in there, whatever your location is and whatever your contact info is, you can change that up. And we're going to also select the automatically add paragraphs feature and click save. And then the last three things we're going to add are all MP stacks. So we'll go ahead and add one MP stack. And under the pre-made stacks, we're going to go sermons for footer and click save. Then we're going to add another MP stack. And this one, we're going to make blogs for footer and click save. And the last one we're going to do again is MP stacks. And we'll do social media for footer and we'll click save. That's it. All you need to do is have those five things in place. And then we will click update. And then you'll notice here at the bottom, everything is in place just the way we saw it on the demo. Obviously recent sermons and recent blogs aren't in place. And that's because there aren't any sermons on your site and there aren't any blogs on your site. But just the same way up in this brick, once you start adding those content pieces, adding blogs, adding sermons, this will get auto populated down your footer as well. And you will see the most recent sermons and blogs. Okay, so that's how you add it to your footer. So it's quite simple. As you can see, 
The MP Stacks Builder is very intuitive. And um, if at any point you feel you have any questions or you feel you're stuck on something, um, please email us at support at mintplugins.com and we'll get back to you just as soon as we can. We love to help you guys out. Um, we pride ourselves on great customer service. And so please don't hesitate to email us if you have any questions uh, on something that I haven't covered here in this video. We sure hope you enjoy the church plant theme. And thanks again for purchasing from mintplugins.com.